This week on Sail Away, we discuss exactly how we make a living while living and cruising full time on a sailboat. Lauren busts out the sewing machine. Sorry, I should I have broken. captured you at a slightly different time? Yeah, I want that. I didn't mess it all up. And we show you step by step how we built a professional audio studio on our sailboat. I wanna sail away. I wanna sail away. Do you wanna sail away with me today? Do you wanna sail away? I wanna... Now, prepare to die. I see you have the ring, and your Schwartz is as big as mine. Now let's see how well you handle it. Hey. Hey. You want to take a break? Uh, is it five o'clock someplace? In Bermuda. Perfect. So. Uh, let's go answer some questions. Make me we, a drink. I was about to say, are we drinking? <laughs> Good afternoon, all. Or morning. Or evening. Whenever you're watching. Whenever you're this. watching, yeah. We wanted to do a um, little video about the one question that we get asked the most. How do we make a living while we travel around the world, which we are just beginning to do? I'm still working, so I guess the, the, simple, <laughs> the simple answer... That's how we afford it. The simple answer to that question is... Yes, we are. We're not retired. I'm not retired. We're we're working for a living still. I'm an audiobook narrator uh, by trade. That's my that's my living and has been for about eight or nine years now. So even in the last few years, the idea of living on a boat and trying to work on a boat came up. But at the time I couldn't figure out a way to to make it work um, from a noise perspective because I have to have very very quiet surroundings and at the time I didn't think there was a way to do that but technology has changed um, the, the footprint of all the stuff that I use has gotten so small that that's not an issue anymore and I've learned a lot more about how to control my acoustic environment um, and what works and doesn't work making audiobooks and obviously decided that we could make it work on a sailboat as long as I had an enclosed cabin we had a big enough boat that was dense enough that it blocked out as much outside sound as possible, which so far that has worked. So it's also going to affect our travels because we have to go where there is internet and we have to go... At least for me to upload right. files to my clients for my projects. So I can work at Anchor someplace remote with absolutely no connection whatsoever, but I do eventually have to get that finished product to whoever I'm working for yeah. so that's yeah that is like but that's something that too just even three or four or five years ago yeah. was more of a problem and there's far far less places in the world now that you can't do that so that's that's our plan my hope is to my plan it's not a hope I'm gonna work less um, any of my publishers and clients out there watching don't worry <laughs> <laughs> I was working so much and doing so many projects that I was just a ball of stress constantly trying to, you know, we were trying to pay everything and find time to work and then, you know, you, you want to hang out with your kids sometimes. And, and, Once in a while. Yeah. So the hope is to, with this structure of how we're living, we have a boat payment, we got to pay for insurance. Uh, but once we leave this marina, our plan is to live on the hook as much as possible, which gets rid of a big old fee for living in a marina. Right. Uh, we're going to be putting solar on the back, which will take care of a lot of that. We already have a water maker that we got to get running and figure out how to use. Right. But yeah, we're, we're trying to live with a, a smaller footprint with far fewer bills and far fewer complications, basically, which means I should have to work quite a bit less to cover all that and obviously as we travel we want to spend a lot of time exploring and, and enjoying the places we are it's the whole reason we're doing this yeah. so our intention is once we leave here the places we go 
we're going to stay around for a couple months. Our goal is to get around the world, but we don't have a, a five-year plan to get around the world. There's no race. It's, it's just like, yeah. and until we, we don't to... like the place that we're in, then, then we leave. So, well, in the vein of honesty, I guess, and how we afford this, we did have a house in Charleston mm -hmm. that we did sell, and we, we made some money off of it, but it meant, went straight towards debt. Right. Um, that was our kind of our first step towards just paying yeah. off as much debt as we could, paying off Layla. Yeah. We paid off our first boat, which essentially equated to our down payment for yeah. this boat. Yeah. And that was what Layla gave us in addition to uh, some leftover from selling the house right. and getting some of that debt gone. Yeah. We kind of just started making money from YouTube. We definitely don't make. No. We make that's about, not. That's not about really part of the equation. About hundred bucks a month. So. <laughs> take that yeah for what it's worth the patreon thing we obviously encourage you to go check that out if you like what we do and would like to contribute uh, to the videos and to help us make them and keep the quality growing and getting better uh, at the same time if if you don't we love you <laughs> just subscribe and like right. just that is you can do that for free and like, yeah that is... yeah we never want to get to the point where we're uh, you know I don't try to hit a mark and get a certain amount of Patreons or anything like that. We we so appreciate you guys that have become Patreons. Right. It's amazing to me that people are willing to, yeah. to help us out in that way. And it's, hang on at the end of this video if you are a Patreon, because we're gonna do another Patreon shout out. Yeah, it's a, a it's a day. huge help. But I think that's about that's about it. I, I we don't have a ton of like hard numbers for you. We might be able to do that in a later video once we have cruised for a little bit longer, yeah. get out of this marina and really see how the specific bills add up based on in right. relation to what we're making. Well, I mean, should we should we talk about how much we're paying for this marina right now? This is a, I would put it at a moderate price based on places we've seen compared to like Florida and Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, our boat, we pay about I think our actual slip fee is about 700 bucks. Electric is real expensive here. Um, don't know why, but it is. So our electric winds up being about 350 a month. It's dead of summer, it's super hot. We're running the AC constantly. We wouldn't be able to function if we didn't. I wouldn't be able to work. Which? Everything, yeah. <laughs> Everything. So there's really no way around that. But yeah, so we're, we're looking at about 1100 bucks a month that we're paying right now to be in this marina. Yeah. Our payment for this boat is about 1100 Our insurance, uh, if you break it down by month, it's probably, uh, it's about 4000 bucks a year, uh, whatever that divides up into per month. And those are the major expenses right there. We know that we're on the high side, obviously, of what we're spending right now. And that, while not awesome, was intentional for what we have to do and what we yeah. have to get done while we're here it, it's so much easier to do all these little rinky dink things sitting at a marina in america where you can just and we still have a we car have which a car. we're going to yeah. sell probably in the next what month two months <laughs> a month and a half yeah. so we have to put it on the put it up for sale so yeah it's it's expensive to be in the marina for these what and we wind up being five months, six months. Mm -hmm. But it's just an expense that we felt we needed to spend to get the boat where we wanted it to be or close to it so that we could take off. Yeah, so there you go. Now you know. We know that this isn't a feasible thing for everybody. I mean, mm -hmm. not everybody has a job that they can just do on the boat. But I, I didn't. Yeah. Until <laughs> recently, at least. I didn't feel like it. Right. So, but we just wanted to, you know, throw another idea out there. We're not the budget sailor. We're not the ones that, you know, are working their way around the world or We're also making not their the money ones that from are like, YouTube and like. Also, not the ones that are like crazy wealthy and retired right. or whatever and just living right. it up. So. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> but we think that we think that this is sustainable mm -hmm. um, and we're really excited about that aspect that we don't have to worry about where the money's coming from every month. So our second biggest question, especially when people figure out that he is working on the boat, is how does he work on the boat? So With we'll just we'll just cut it here and you'll watch we, how we set up Eric's office. 
enjoy <laughs> while I take my break. Yes. So project one, which is installed under there, so far a success. We've already put together a couple of new folding bikes and explored a little bit downtown, got some good deli food. Lauren's got some sewing projects coming up as part of my project right now which is to create my little studio area back here for recording audiobooks and you know keeping all my clients this right here is a shelf that was right there so I have removed that shelf I've got my little sort of compact office chair so that it'll fit down here in the floor space and I can still get my door shut. And then basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna build a big mic enclosure out of soundproof blanket material, which is what my mobile studio is made from. And it works great. And basically I've got some dowel to make a top edge here. We're gonna cover the walls on here and then I'm gonna cut that shelf apart and we're gonna make a nice little swivel desk for my laptop to sit right there and I think it's gonna work pretty good when this AC is not running back here it's really quiet sounds from outside you barely hear anything out in the cabin I was having to stop a little more frequently for a random wind noise or halyards and stuff like that um, but then I would kind of hop back here to see how it sounded and I didn't hear much of anything I got some corrections to do that I need to get done tonight or early tomorrow, so I need to get on it. It's time to do some woodworking. Things are coming along here in Santa's workshop. Lauren is altering some of our very favorite old shower curtains so that they fit. No, so that they fit a sail boat. <laughs> Sorry, so should I have captured it. you at a slightly different time? Yeah, when I didn't mess it all up. I am almost done with the desk portion of my office. So this is my little side computer stand. Made completely out of that shelf that was already in here. Now I'm just about to hook this up. It's going to hinge right there. And then next is to start building this my enclosure jobby. Got the shelf hooked up and you guys I'm kind of proud of this. Here's my little desk. Very, very handy. Built a little bit lower so that I can easily reach it. Swivels. And then when it's time to go sailing or move stuff out of here, out of the way. We've got a nice old-fashioned hook lock and bam. Nice and tight. Need a little bit of stain to darken that up so it's not obvious but otherwise you wouldn't know that uh, it doesn't belong on the boot. I was really 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 psyched that I was able to use the wood off the boat to do that. What's not totally done? Shower curtain. All damn shower curtain. That looks good. You know, so they're half of what they used to be. Cause I'm half the curtain I used to be. Cool. And they cover all the way up, so bam. Nice. So one shower curtain cut in half would be both shower curtains. So that took me um four hours. Yeah, the projects are time consuming today. Since I got the camera on, I guess I'll show you what my progress is at the moment. Now I've got my upper support for the mic enclosure. And then 
these two pieces now up here and here just to give a little support for all the cloth that's going to be uh, shaped around the whole thing so that's about it nice wine time <laughs> Yeah, well if you're drinking wine, then I'm drinking rum. Okay, well I guess I better take a drink break. See y'all. Craft shop is still humming. Nine o'clock at night. And here's what we're doing now. Got these giant blankets of sound. They're sound blankets, basically. That's what they're called. So I've got one. 80 inch long by 32 inch piece. And Lauren is sewing up the ends for me. Yeah, it's real thick stuff. That's not a, it's not a high performance sewing machine right there. Wow, did you see that? I did. Yeah, we need a sail right for equivalent. You're supposed to be in bed. Why did you? Hey, why aren't you in bed? Rivers. Because the wake up is so Can't argue with that. Well, I'm very close. It is very late. Should I have so far? That's the closure. Sound dampening. Blankets here. I think this is going to work out pretty good. So, tomorrow I'll get all of my goodies set up and working. See how it sounds. Pretty happy with it so far. It sounds pretty good in here. It's a very dead sounding boat in a good way. Like, if I'm sitting here, Lauren's in the our V Birth Master Suite <clears throat> talking right now, she can't hear me. And if I raise my voice to try to talk to her, she wouldn't understand what I'm saying. It's just a very sound sealed boat. It's really cool. So, I'm very optimistic, but tomorrow I gotta do some corrections, and then at the end of the week I gotta start another project. I got two projects to get done. And, uh, gonna do them right here. So, leap to several days later, and I'm finally pretty much done with my studio. Thought I'd show you what it looks like now. There was uh, quite a few days of adjustment and additions and added sound padding and changes to the actual enclosure. I was getting kind of a strange boxy tone because of the fiberglass up here. So I had to do some things to kind of tone that down, but it's sounding really good now. So, yeah, got a little clip-on fan here. So when I'm working during the day, I basically have the front AC unit running. It's like really hot right now. It's in the mid upper 90s. So I keep that front AC running on sort of middle fan setting so it's not very loud. So far, so good. I've um, still got a little bit of organizing to do back in here. Um, all of my music gear and all of our all of our files and all the tools and some of the spare parts and other random things are back in here with me. Which is fine because they help deaden the sound. So far it's been working really well. So, there you have it. That is how you do an audiobook studio on a boat. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and subscribe and ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. It really helps us out. Also, any comments, we will make sure to comment back. Yes. Unless it's dirty. No, we'll probably still. And then we'll still... probably comment yeah. back. No worries. But that really helps us out too. So. Yeah. And we want to thank our uh, Patreons for supporting us for a little while now. And we've got a few new ones that we've not given a shout out to recently. Karen Angelina, we love you very much. Chris and Mary. Hey. <laughs> Courtney Jones, my brother. 
Douglas Underwood, thank you. Greg Stengel, thanks for all the comments too, we appreciate it. Jeff Beck. Thank you for visiting us. Chaotic Sailing. You're always in our hearts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounded like a... <laughs> always in our hearts. They're, like a they're conversation. Not dead, right, <laughs> no, I just love them that much. Yeah. Mark Springer, <laughs> thank you very much as always. And Pedro Silva, thank you so much. Steve McAllister, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank all of you very much. And if any of the rest of you would like to help support the videos we make and uh, keep them coming, we're trying to constantly improve and uh, make them as good as we possibly can. Go check out our Patreon page and check out the perks that we have on there. We got some cool sail away gear. Um, very, very soon we're going to start doing early releases of all of our videos on Patreon, mm -hmm. as well as some little special tidbits. So, yeah. go check it out, and we'd love to have you as our crew. Thanks. Thanks. See you next time. Cheers. Run at space. Heart of grace, no matter.